if I interpret you right, you know, your the big challenge may be batteries, but what do you see as, as you know, from the other side, from the manufacturer side? Is it the infrastructure? Is it the battery? What is it that's the challenge? Well, just to uh, to tag on to the motorsports topic for just yeah, a okay, second, because okay. you know I love motorsports, and I had the good fortune yeah. to spend a few years in Formula One. When we went semi-electric, and I know you live around mm. the corner from our Formula One facilities, yeah. if you want to win in Formula One today, the pinnacle of motorsports, if you don't have the best integrated electric powertrain combined with a combustion powertrain, you're not going to win. And that's what we have had uh, the good luck of uh, managing the last three seasons with uh, double championships. So it is a test bed for new innovative technologies under extreme conditions, absolutely extreme conditions. So we can learn in that field and, of course, create the fascination of the bus uh, of the uh, race drivers fighting for the championship. On the other end of that, you mentioned the industrialization. This will be key. I brought this picture with me, which is, uh, I believe, is the largest battery factory in uh, Germany for complete battery systems, perhaps even in Europe. Uh, we have decided to invest in this facility another 500 million over the next few years and on a worldwide basis in facilities like this where we have the production and will have the production of our electric cars uh, into the billions. And we need to ramp up the infrastructure uh, to be able to get to the volume. Because if you want to flick the switch and you want to have a real paradigm shift, it's not enough if you just do a car here or a nice show car and you put it out there you got to go into real volume, which means, for a brand like Mercedes, hundreds of thousands of vehicles per year. And as we're doing the development, we are working on the industrialization side of this at the same time, and it's already uh, quite a far ahead. Okay. How about we